Waste transfer from Israel to areas in the occupied Palestinian territory has been taking place for decades and with the full knowledge of Israeli authorities. The consent and continuity of this practice reveals that it is a systematic violation of international laws. Afaq magazine also revealed uh, that uh, Israel closed uh, many uh, solid waste uh, uh, dumping sites and solid waste treatment uh, plants in Israel itself and transported them to the West Bank because of the toxic uh, substances uh, they uh, contain and the dangerous uh, uh, emissions. Israel has been quietly damaging natural resources of the West Bank, if not through over-exploitation, then by its hazardous waste treatment facilities that have an irrevocable impact on humans and nature. Israeli rights group B'Tselem revealed in 2017 that Israel produces around 350,000 metric tons of hazardous waste annually. Under military regime in the West Bank, Israel does not apply the Clean Air Act over there. Palestinians are not aware that all of this uh, waste from Israel is trucked to the West Bank and they cannot uh, um, even uh, try to prevent it or act against it in any ways because Israel does not provide any information and uh, it violates international law in doing so. Israel established at least 15 waste treatment facilities that are currently in operation in the West Bank, six of which process hazardous waste. These facilities are mostly in close proximity to Palestinian villages and cities. Over the years, these facilities have been closely associated with environmental pollution and implication on public health, towards which Israel turns a blind eye, especially after it shut down many waste treatment facilities inside Israel between 2008 and 2015 in enactment of its local clean air law. تم ضبط عدد كبير من هذه النفايات في محافظات الوطن قمنا باتخاذ الإجراءات من خلال إبلاغ سكرتارية اتفاقية بازل بذلك ومن ومن ثم تحويل من له علاقة من خلال الجانب الفلسطيني يعني هنالك بعض المواطنين من خلال جشع أو جهل يقومون بأخذ هذه المادة مقابل مبالغ زهيدة. Mahan Center has revealed through its environment-focused investigative periodical Afaq that over half of Israeli electronic waste is dumped in vast areas of the occupied West Bank, including rich, fertile areas like the Jordan Valley, Selfit and Hebron. The southern Hebron town of Idna is a clear example of this unlawful practice. The waste includes computers, refrigerators, air conditioners, gas mask filters and televisions, among many other items. The waste can be managed safely and properly under governmental regulations, but none are applied. To the contrary, some Palestinians, driven by poverty, process this waste by burning it to extract metals and sell it back to the Israeli market, risking their own health in the process. A recent study by the Palestinian Environmental NGO's network PEMCON shows that radioactive nodes in several environmental samples in the South Hebron area were above universally approved averages. Cesium is a part of the process. The process is to be in the B.A. 0. It is not in the B.A. But we found it from the population of the B.A. especially in the central region of the B.A. in the B.A. There is a number of things that are related to the disease and especially the disease between the B.A. and the B.A. The other thing is the disease of the B.A. الخلقية للأجنة والأطفال الصغار وأيضا اللي حالات العقم اللي ظهرت بين السكان وبنسب كبيرة دولة الاحتلال بتنتهك بشكل رئيسي مبادئ القانون الدولي الإنساني الخاصة بمسؤولية دولة الاحتلال عن الإقليم المحتل وعن سكان هذا الإقليم بالإضافة للقواعد الخاصة بحماية البيئة واللي نصت عليها المواد 35 و 55 من البروتوكول الإضافي الملحق باتفاقيات جنيف الأربعة للعام 1977 اللي بتحضر 
الحاق ضرر بيئي جسيم في بيئه دوله دوله اخرى One barrel of hazardous waste, uh, the dumping and treatment, cost around uh, $2,000. Uh, but here in the West Bank, it's uh, almost uh, uh, $0. The Palestinian occupation is a great the حسب المادة التامنة من اتفاقيات روما للنظام الأساسي للمحكمة الجنائية الدولية. All human rights violations, including this particular example of waste treatment, will end when the occupation comes to an end.